What's your problem today? I like the way you ask, what's your problem? I'm French, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what's my problem? My problem is that there is how we appear to the world and there is who we are. And there's a disconnect a little bit. The way we appear to the world is that we're like a Bloomberg for pharma, a mini Bloomberg. Mm -hmm. We sell data for pharma. Our strategy, our investment, our, our path is becoming the Google map for cancer. There are two identities there. That's a problem. <laughs> Why is this problem is coming up today? I don't know. I guess it's uh, my personal interest in maybe simplifying my business and, and finding a way to, to simplify my, my life. Focusing like a maniac on one thing is, I think, what will help my company go from here to here. The consideration is to spin off the legacy business and to make it a different company. Why don't you do it now? The two companies are a little bit fused at the hip, or it would require Siamese twin surgery. There's a lot of people that are part of both sides of the business. There's a lot of flow of information that touch mm -hmm. both sides. And separating them is tricky. For example, now we need a, a new brand, a new identity. We need a new website. We need a new CEO, by the way. Little things like the line of credit, the loans that I have. I have a little bit of debt, not much, a little bit. If I split the company, covenants of the loan get messed up. So a lot of small practical problems appear. The new name will be given to the old companies, like the core business. And, yes. And you keep level for the new one. In general, we do the opposite. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> It's a good question. I might get a tattoo that says, I will not sell. I'm not here to make money, really. I mean, I, I want to be a billionaire, of course, but I'm not here to make money. I want here to build a company that can be my pride, essentially, right? I, my contribution. In my view, it should be one company, my first successful company. And I want it to be my last company, my only company. Why don't you call the two companies Larval? Like one is Larval Data and the other one is Larval uh, Mapping. I don't know. It was considered and it's actually a, a very thoughtful point and it's possible. The reason why I've been leaning against it is that I think that the, the, new, the new core, the core business, the legacy business could very well be acquired. And if it's called Larval, the name gets acquired with it. There's a little bit of reluctance, uh, a lot maybe, from me to say, well, a company that bears my name will not be controlled by me. You said that you want a tattoo saying I don't sell. And now you say that you, one of the companies could be acquired. You got it. But that's why I don't want to call it Larvol. Mm. What is the repartition of the income between the two companies? It's like 50-50? 90-10. Wow. So the new business is 10%. Today? Yeah, maybe 20%. Yes, today. In 2021... The goal is that one third of all the new revenues will come from the new business. That's actually in our goal already. So you personally want to focus on this new business yes. and to be the CEO of this business with the Larval brand. Yes. So what happens to the other guy, which makes today like 80% who is leading the company? You know inside. Tell me. I'm listening. Uh, don't tell anybody. Well, I, I, I don't want to say it, but yes, I have I have an idea. Oh. I don't want to say it. It could be you? It could. There might still be some benefit to a split, even if it's me. Except that the main thing that you're looking for is to be focused on one thing. So there is no benefit if you have two, two hats. The other hat, no. If you have to change your hat every hour, hour it, <laughs> it won't be good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I believe that decision sometimes is very good to waver. It's a good sign where you, one week you think one way, then the other way, then the other way. And at some point it stabilizes. As 2021 advances, at some point it will be clear to me. Like illumination. Illumination. 
clarity will come. So in a way, maybe we don't force a decision. It's not called the indecision or the possible decision. It's called the decision. <laughs> yeah.